Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kelvin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and this is my latest pack opening. Now, you might be wondering why I'm opening packs, and the reason for that is specifically this is a pack opening on my EU account. That's right, I have an EU account. I don't play it often, but I've been uh, playing in my Twitch subscriber tournament lately, so I've been looking to get some EU cards, and this was uh, 15 packs I opened to help just build the foundation of that side of my collection, because as you may or may not know, Cards don't translate across regions, so I had to start fresh on an EU account. And that said, I think this pack opening offers some interesting insights as I go through it, because I start assessing cards in a different way. It's not just adding to the collection or accruing dust or getting cards and filling in gaps in the collection. It's actually looking specifically for cards that can help you build basic beginner decks and start finding the lines of cards that go together and fit certain classes and still help you grow a collection. So I think it'll provide... Uh, some insights into how I look at Hearthstone from a new player perspective, which is not something we often get to see me do. That said, let's go ahead and jump into this pack opening as it was recorded live on my Twitch stream. So, let's open packs. Let's see what we get. Remember, we're looking for good cards above all else. You know, like these. <laughs> Uh, honestly, device ringleaders is probably something you could work with. Probably. Two blues. That's not deadly shot. Solid. It's probably only good with patches. Counter spell, I doubt, is very useful in many different things. Um, True to the claw. I already have one of these. It's not bad. Siphon soul's good. Explosive traps okay. Cone of cold's a card you can play. Okay, standard pack. Double Unleash. I already have one, but uh, those are good cards nonetheless. These are pretty much useless, I think. I really doubt I'd ever need two counter spells. Maybe that. Ooh, that's a good pack. Circle of Healing. My Control Tech Solid. Doom Guard's great. I, I'm putting together some decent Warlock cards. Avenging Wrath, probably not very great, unfortunately. Let's see. Wild Pyro is good. Sorcerer's Apprentice is good. I already had a couple Earth Shocks and not excited about the Priest cards there. I have a, I have a Hyena, another Secret. Fitter Vargas is a great card in general. Cruel Task, I think I have one, but we can work with it. Read your EU account, better be Hans Rubenfeld. <laughs> That's a good idea, but. It's a, I, oh my god, another Earth Shock. At least it's golden, so we can disenchant that for some dust. We can craft some stuff. Um, okay, more standard things. Man Worm's good. Uh, cold Blood might be okay. I can probably build an aggressive rogue deck, like an aggro rogue, with some Cold Bloods. All right. Two Sources Apprentice. Gadget Sand's not terrible. Another Soul of the Forest. Dark Iron Dwarf is is a playable card. The rest of this is garbage. Mm. Ooh, purple, nice. It's actually kind of exciting to get purples when you're in a like like normally you know that makes it's like whatever. I have a lot of cards, but these are actually meaningful to me. You know, great cards like pa <laughs> Patient Assassin actually go a long way. Uh, yeah, I have open packs before on EU, guys. Uh, I got, like, I had some, I don't know, there was a bunch of different promotions and stuff that had given me packs, so I, I didn't, unfortunately, get the, um, the guaranteed legendary in 10 packs or anything like that. Another Soul of the Forest Naturalize. I'm pretty sure I've opened five of each of these. So many. I mean, I've disenchanted some, but, ooh, purple again. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good pack. Questing Adventure is not great. Another SI7 agent. At least it's golden. Lay on hands. Uh, it's going to be hard to build it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There's so many good epics, and that's not one of them. And uh, unfortunately, no legendaries. Man. Oh, this is cool. We could make a little secret mage deck, maybe. We hit all those secrets. 
That's something to work with. Okay. Alright. So, pretty bad pack opening, honestly. Apparently my pack luck does not extend to EU. Because that felt really bad. Like, really, really bad. I don't think the collection's gonna... Sustain a lot of great decks right now. I think Mage is probably my best bet. That's the 03 police, guys. We started out 5 0, but then the 03 police arrived. Man. Legit, something might be happening right outside my window. Are they driving past? Or are they staying here? Hold up, I gotta check this no out. Legendary police coming for you. Oh no, they're, they're going past now. I was waiting for that, uh, what's it called? The Doppler effect? Is that right? It didn't seem to be happening, though. I thought they were gonna stop right here. No legendary police, that's what it was. It's not the O3 police, it's the garbage pack opening police. <laughs> I littered with my garbage pack openings. I know I can just type new guys, but I don't like to, but I guess I have to now. Oh my god, what is happening? My building's on fire right now, and I probably just couldn't hear it because headphones on. <laughs> I'm trapped up here. Although I do have a safety ladder, so I can get out. You're getting swatted. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen eventually. Massive fire next door, no big deal. Now they're going far away, thankfully. So guys, I'm actually gonna play some EU games. We have a little bit of time left on the stream. I'm gonna try to build a junk deck and uh, actually grind with it. We have the most cards available in Mage, so let's let's play a Mage deck. Police frown on a grown man using double lay on hands. <laughs> the Zach made you're probably right. I bet that's exactly what it is. They don't want me using lay on hands. Okay, that's a good little start. That's a nice little aggro core. Um, got some secret pieces. Did I have another secret I could add? Maybe just for tempo. Nice barrier. Now we need, well, a spellbender. Sure, that's not a bad secret anyway. It's something you'd run regardless. Uh, so we need... <laughs> it's like, I was like, I must have a filter set because I just don't have that many cards. Uh, but I can see now that uh, <laughs> that's just where we're at. <laughs> that's just where we're at. Just going to grab some good stuff, like aggressively set cards. Just build sort of a basic zoo mage deck, right? Do you have some elementals? Maybe this could be a good card. Pyros, actually, currently the only elemental. Maybe we cut that. Um, could do a Frost Wolf Warlord. Stranglethorn Tiger. Actually, it's probably... Oh, we only have one. Ugh. Uh, any top end card? Oh, Bone Mares. Whoa, I got two Bone Mares. Baller. Yes, let's do that. Okay, sure. Let's try this. Free to... Well, it's actually not free to play. I spent money. Um... Beginner. Beginner. That's not how you spell beginner. <laughs> beginner mage. Okay. And there you go. That was 15 packs on my EU account. Unfortunately, no bright oranges. Apparently, I'm not quite as lucky on EU as I am in North America. But, like I said before the pack opening started, I still think that gave you a cool look into some different angles, different approaches of my thinking towards Hearthstone, which I think still adds a lot of value. So, all that said, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, of course, leave those in the comments below. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on.